Hello, this is Reza Rad from Radaka. Today I'm going to show you a simple but useful trick that when you don't have any data in your visual, it comes up with a message like what you see over here. Let's see how it works. In a Power BI visualization, when you uh, when you select an item in a slicer, normally that visual gets filtered by that slicer. But when uh, based on that that selection, there is no value. Sometimes the visual comes like like blank, like this visual. This is a column chart, and most of the charts would kind of act like the same. So you might see like headers, but then you don't see anything here. It's like a blank area. And you might want to show a message here that says there is no data or something like that. How you can do that? Uh, here is a simple trick you can do. First, you can create a measure. Uh, this measure, you can call it anything. This measure measure is saying that if a value is return, uh, if a value returned based on the selection of that criteria, it returns blank. Otherwise, it returns this message um, because I'm showing sales amount. So I'm checking that if that sum of sales amount is blank, then return this message, otherwise return blank text. It's important to return blank text because uh, I'm going to show that in a card visual. Then what I can do is I can have a card visual and uh, I can overlay that card visual on top of this chart and show that value to make sure that this is right on top of that visual. I can do it like that, okay. Then show that value over here uh, now, obviously, this doesn't show anything right now. Then what I'll do is I'll go and change the data label of that to something like red, something that is more obvious. I turn off the category label. Um, I turn off the background color. I turn off the visual header. You basically turn off anything, even word wrap. You can turn it off if your text is big enough to fit here. Um, now, if I select this, you see that it shows it there. I need to make it a little bit smaller as well. Probably something like 25. Yep, that looks good. Right, uh, and this works just like that. Now, the thing is that because your card visual is laid on top of the uh, other chart, sometimes when you want to click on a column, uh, you are actually getting that chart selected. So it's important to have this selection pane when you overlay visuals on top of each other, the help for that would be it helps you to select items first easily. Another thing would be to change their layout. How you open the selection pane by going to the view tab, view tab, selection. So you select it over there. And then when you select it, um, this selection pane will appear here. It will show you your visuals. Normally their title uh, appears here uh, or the types. Uh, here I can see that I have my card visual and card visual is at the top of the column chart. If I move this after that, then it won't come with that problem. So now I can do my column chart interaction really fine. And still I have that uh, ability to, to do this, uh, returning this message. So everything plays really nice. It looks like it's one visual returning that, but in fact, it's just like two visuals and everything forms really nice and simple. Here is a example done for that already. So really simple solution. I hope it helps you to implement it in your Power BI reports and have a better visualization. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have uh, weekly videos of Power BI and AI.